Hi, I'm Bobby Crooks. I'm the chef at Rakes Progress. I'm a 2018 Star Chefs DC Rising Star. A Rakes Progress is just a little bit more polished than Woodbury Kitchen. Um, you know, we built a beautiful hearth with a lot of very specific implements that Spike and I designed. We're really inspired by ingredients. We're really inspired by the landscape of the Mid-Atlantic, and we're really trying to showcase the produce and the products and the makers of the Mid-Atlantic and keep it really simple and straightforward. In the restaurant, we generally do anywhere from 150 to 200 covers, so it's very variable. It's always changing, and it's always something to you know, keep your finger on the pulse of. I've been using the Vitamix blender in professional kitchens ever since I can remember. I, I would say that we have a Vitamix blender blending about six to seven hours a day constantly. The VP3 and the Vitamix XL are essential to our daily operations. Um, whether it be a puree, whether it be a sauce, whether it be a vinaigrette, whether it be an herb oil, those two uh, pieces of equipment are absolutely essential to our daily operations. Today I'll be making ember grilled rockfish with a puree of embered squash, apple tahini, and watercress with the VP3. The idea for this dish was really out of necessity. We had a ton of apples that we needed to use, so we made this beautiful apple butter, and we really wanted to add a little bit of umami for the dish, and uh, bene seed is a great way to add that kind of like rich, toasty, nutty, kind of almost floral uh, flavor to a dish. And so we were able to grind the bene seeds super smooth in the VP3. We added the apple butter, and it was just a really nice uh, way to incorporate the two together. We make so many herb oils. We make herb oil every day from anything from lemon verbena to thyme to parsley to chive to scallion. Um, and they're essential in our cooking because we don't use olive oil. Um, so we're always packing the VP3s full of herbs, putting just enough oil in there to get it moving and just cranking it on. And you know, it has to run for a few minutes and they're always up to the challenge. So we make the inbred squash puree in the VP3. It's super great to use this uh, blender for this because the squash is dry and we want it to be dry. And so we put all that in the bottom. We add a little bit of maple syrup and then we turn the VP3 on and we slowly emulsify uh, the squash with the butter. So we're making an emulsion. So we're really looking for that vortex to form and we're pouring the butter right in the center of that vortex so that it gets nice and smooth and beautiful without breaking the emulsion. You know, we had some beautiful rockfish in yesterday from one of our uh, watermen, and so we are able to put it back on the menu tonight. So to plate the rockfish, we're just gonna place the rockfish in the bowl, just kind of slightly off center. A nice little dollop of the apple tahini, and then next to the apple tahini, we're gonna dollop a little of the embered squash puree. We're gonna slice up a little gold rush apple, which is my personal favorite apple, nice and sweet, a little bit tart, nice and crunchy. We're gonna layer that on top of these purees, and then garnish with a little crust and finish it off with a little parsley oil. And here we have the Ember grilled rockfish with the apple tahini and the embered squash puree made with the help of the VP3.